Well, g'day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Uh, today I'm going to show you a different way to actually hang your diamond painting. So you might remember this one, this one's on Everyday E-Crafts, it's a 30 by 30 uh, canvas, 25 by 25 image. And it's of the little cactuses, I think it's a really cute image. I've actually sealed it because I needed to just sort of make sure it was going to be protected by dust and whatnot on the top here. Uh, just because of how I wanted to frame, I suppose, or mount this particular one. So this is sort of a bit more of a mounting idea. So what I have for you guys is a diamond painting we want to hang on our wall. We also have this. This little guy is from Kmart. Once again, of course, I've been in Kmart. Uh, it's the Anko brand. It's a plywood slat board. It's a 30 by 30, so it's perfect. Let me see if I can get that information for you up there nice and close and personal like. There we go. So it's slat bore 30 by 30 or 11.8 by 11.8 inch. And it is really cool size, perfect for our 30 by 30s. It has a little bit of rope there hanging on the back and it's just got like this, the slats, very basic. I mean, you can make one of these yourself if you want to, if you had the kind of slatting lying around or if you want to just make them in bulk, I suppose. Uh, on the back here has just got your little basic little hooks and attached is a little piece of string. So nothing overly fancy about this frame, but it's all ready to go for eight bucks, I'm going to say. So for eight dollars ready to go, not to worry about the DIY side of thing um, base. I was, I'm very happy with that. So let's just get cracking straight into it and I'm going to roll up my sleeves here because they're annoying me. One moment, there we go. Alrighty, so uh, Enco brand plywood slat board. I don't need that information anymore, so that can come off of there. That hopefully should just peel off. And it does. Awesome. So there you go, stick that on you. There you go. <laughs> no, we won't do that. Okay, we'll just put that aside. So the board itself's kinda fairly clean. I'm pretty happy enough with that for what I want to do. So what I want to basically do is cut out this edge, which will be my next step, so I can actually adhere this, stick this one on. I was thinking of using a piece of card, and if this wasn't already quite stiff from the actual uh, sealer, I would suggest doing that as putting a piece of um, just some extra paper or something like basic card paper, nothing too fancy, and stick that on the back. So that's what I'm going to do with my other one that I want to mount on one of these boards because it's not going to have like this one has that um, that that stiffness I suppose I can't really explain any better but you know of the canvas now that's what I want to do I'm also going to use of course another product from Kmart I just I like I love Kmart it's so much good stuff there um, and this is the spray adhesive for quick bond, high strength, dries clear, acid free, all the good stuff. And it is actually a real beauty. Uh, trying to remember the price off hand. I don't think it was too much. $10 or under. I'm going to say that much. I will add the price when I do the editing. That'll probably be the go. And there you go. So there you go. That's the price there. So I'm going to use this as well. So that is basically all I need. Plyboard. That I bought from Kmart, so it's easy that I got from Kmart, and of course the painting I want to do, and some scissors to cut off all the daggy edges. So that's all there is to it. Now there is two ways you can do this, I suppose. You could simply cut this off and block mount it, and I'll show you a video on how to do that onto a piece of card, and then put it onto the actual ply board. But for this intents and purposes. I'm going to just cutting off the edges myself for this particular one. You could also, um, if you didn't want to cut the edge of the canvas because you're concerned about fraying or any other sort of thing going on, you could also just wrap the um, the edges up with some washi tape or some duct tape and dress the edges up as well in that way. So there is other options if you don't want to directly just cut off the edge of the canvas like I'm doing here. 
Now I'm just trying to pay attention to what I'm actually cutting while I'm having a chat to you. Uh, I'm going right across as close as I can to the drills. I'm trying not to cut the drills because actually when I did one of these type of things uh, and I was cutting just the edge off to put into a regular frame, I actually started snipping away and realized I started chopping into the actual drills and I can you can cut these drills quite simply um, in half quite easily when they are on the canvas like that and not even realize it. So I am just cutting this one out along that line that's already there for to guide me from when it was printed out. I'm going to get rid of all this daggy writing and whatnot. So we don't really want to see all that. I love this image. It's come up really well for the size, so I'm very, very happy with it. That's why I want to put it up on the wall. Ah, if I can cut this. Scissors don't want to cut. They're getting cogged up with the glue on the edge there. Oh, they're making a mess. I'll have to fix, fix this up in a sec. There we go. Stickiness on there is not helping me. All right, having snipped all the bits and pieces off, so that's all gone now. If I was keeping um, my drills or something, you could use this as well as a way to keep uh, tabs of your DMC numbers or something like that. If you're just bagging up your drills and keeping them aside somewhere, so you can always use those strips for that. All right, so that is my canvas as it is as a. You can put, as I said, a um, piece of board or something, a piece of car just to stiffen that up. But because it is quite stiff already from just having the, uh, what do you call it, the sealer through this canvas, it's actually made it quite firm. I'm quite content with it as it is. It's looking nice and clean. So here is the board. I'm going to bring the board back in. We're going to have a look at that. That's going to just basically sit right on there, nice and simple, like no problems at all. Now, with a bit of measuring, and I'll just do that real quickly, we will find a nice spot right center where I would like this one, this painting to actually sit on the board. I want it fairly even side to side. I want to have it looking about even from top and my bottom spacing. So I want to try and keep this bit and this bit about the same and then these two also to be equal to each other. So the top and bottom to be equal to each other and the side to side to be equal to each other away and try and make them as straight as I possibly can. So I'm going to look for something along the lines of that. That looks about right. Should we measure it? Probably should. Are we going to? Yeah, we better. I was gonna say probably not, but anyway, I'll get a ruler. Usually I'm kind of happy to just eyeball this part, but you know, if you're not confident in that, maybe just use yourself a ruler and a gray lead and a little pencil just to mark out where you want your um, image to sit. As I said, I'm kind of happy with where that's looking now, which is uh, looking at 30 at the top. And it's pretty much 30 on the bottom. I have, we were 28 on the side there and probably about 24 so if anything it could probably just shuffle that way over a little bit now I've got a nice 25 on that side and about there's about 25 on that okay so that's about as good as I'm going to get I think with the position of this diamond painting. You can go just down a fraction that way. 28, 28. Beautiful. Okay, so when you're happy with that, what you can do is either just put like a little pointers just on the corners. Just so you know whereabouts you want to line up this when you stick it on. And when we finish, we'll just use a rubber to raise that out. Okie dokie. 
so that's that part we know where we want to put it now I'm not going to prep that in any shape form if you wanted to give it a light sand you probably could and it probably wouldn't hurt uh, but I'm just going to go straight on there and see how it all works out good fun experimenting so I've got my Anko spray again I probably should put something down but I'm not and I'm just going to spray this straight onto the back of the canvas and you can sort of see it bubbling up there there we are so I'll see it going and you want to sort of get that as best you can all over the canvas Now that I've got it all over, it's bubbling up, it feels nice and cold. I'm going to make sure I've got the top of the board where the string is facing the right way. My canvas goes up the right way and everything will be funky dory. Alright, now I'm going to flip this over, being careful of the edges. And I have my canvas up the direction I wanted. I'm going to just sort of aim that corner there and that corner there to my markers. I'm just going to lay it down and do the same with the other two corners. And then when I'm happy, I'm just going to press it on down. And that is about as easy as it gets to mount and framing your diamond painting so that's it guys that's pretty much all you need to do if you wanted to you could go around this edge here and put some washi tape or decorate it in any way you like you could even weave some wool along the edge or something crafty it's really up to you how you'd like to border it but that is pretty much in a nutshell a way to mount your diamond paintings and um, I hope this is a helpful little hint for you guys to do a very quick and easy way to have your beautiful pieces of work up to for you and your family and your friends and loved ones to enjoy and and you know just in just love your diamond painting yes okay so there we go that's it guys I'm ready to go hang this up and it's gonna pop it on the wall so I'll say thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys. Be well, be safe. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye for now. See ya.